Hey there, the Troy Six here. Let me show you something cool. So right now I got myself a copy of Shinobi Strikers right now. It's not modded, it's not exploitive, it's not coded in any way. In fact, you can do this on your system too. So, right now we got ourselves... Let me put this in. So right now we got ourselves new stuff inside the store right now. A couple of outfits, new sword. I want to show you how to get every single one of them. Without any extra cash, Moonlight Scrolls, or nothing. In fact, I'm going to show you my very next scroll. I already have, let's see, this here right here. Right here for women. Let's go ahead and open it. My very next scroll. Yep, there it is. Oh, but just to show you that I haven't just been doing this over and over again and I was getting that footage, I'll show you, I'm going to make it even better for you. So, the next Black Scroll is going to be the Lunar Eclipse outfit for the boys. And that's going to take, let's see, just going to look at my notes here. It's going to take uh, eight scrolls in order to do. And just want to know. Now you can see, just for my Xbox, no capture card. You're just going straight to the TV. So, this is not pre-recorded. It's all my controller. Yeah, it's all me. So we're gonna go ahead, open ourselves up uh, another eight scrolls. Eight more scrolls. Wow. And there we are again. And all the way at the bottom, there's that good old Lunar Eclipse set. But I don't think we, but we shouldn't stop at just eight. Uh, we shouldn't just stop at S rank. No, no, we want the double S rank. So go ahead, let me show you something. The very next scroll, unfortunately, I don't got anything, but that's just how luck works. But the next two after that. Next two? Let's see which one. We got ourselves. We're gonna get ourselves the weapon. Yep. And we're gonna get the accessory. Yep. We're gonna get ourselves both of those. Now. Just in case for anyone's thinking, like, how how is he doing all of this? How does he know what's inside each one before it happens? Well, I hope you saw the last video, because I already showed you how this whole game is a scam. Everything is predetermined, everything is backlogged. But, if you already know what your log is, you can be able to determine what these things have before you even get it. So, as I said before, I'm just going to open up two. And there we are! Two more double S weapons, and one extra accessory. It's predetermined! Yeah. Do you still not believe me? Because, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get the whole set. So, unfortunately, that's the best amount of luck I have. But, um, I'm going to have to open up a good amount this time, so I'm going to need to open it all... I'm going to have to open up a few. A good, uh, 27. That should... I believe that's right. I need to have at least 20. I've already counted every single one that I'm going to get, but all I'm all that matters is, is the double S, so I'm not going to uh, bore you with that. All this is worthless, so no double S in here. But our very next one, as you can tell, I haven't steered you yet. I haven't steered you wrong this so far, right? My very next scroll is going to be the good old male outfit. Right there. Good old male outfit right there. So, okay, I want to open up our first scroll. So, let's go ahead and open up our scroll, shall we? Okay, there it is again. In fact, let's go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put all those on, shall we? As you can see, didn't need any. They don't need any ROM hacks. You don't need any ex exploits. All you gotta do is follow this tip inside the video. Let's go through the video. I'll show you exactly how to do this yourself. The footage and info you are going to see is based on a full copy of Shinobi Strikers with all the DLC at the time included for the Xbox One. It has been tested and confirmed in both One S and One X. Please listen to and understand the entirety of the process of scroll refunding. Failure to properly do so may result in the loss of saved data. Try at your own risk.
So here we are in the village. Now there are two things I want you to look at before starting. Number one is the scroll list, and number two is the items positions. For the scroll list, we are going to check the first ten or so items in the list, all the way down to the tell guard of items. See these items here? I'm going to classify the labeled items here as filler items. Filler items are just that. They fill up the slots in a lineup that would be a double S in another lineup. You can identify them by the scroll turning black when you open it but have a grade of S or lower. They must also be placed above the tailed garb items in the lineup. As for positions, it tells you what the placement of each reward for the vending machine is offering for the lineup right now. If you check the list, then count the prize table, your scroll is guaranteed to land on that item class number each time, with the only exception being double S weapons. Depending on the weapon type, double S weapons often override other double S slots, so pay more attention to the hidden double S locations. This would be where we would start opening scrolls to see what's inside, but unless we can refund the scrolls to reopen them later, we can't do much with the info. So what we're going to do is open the scrolls in offline mode, see what's inside them, then we're going to rewind the clock by reloading our save file, and use our findings to pick the prizes we want. Going into offline mode off the bat won't work, because the game hides the real vending machines in offline mode. Sort of. I'm going to show you how to work around that. So here we are in the menu. Make sure you are starting the game connected to the internet. Cloud save should be enabled when playing online. Press A once to enter the new game slash continue screen. We will then be greeted with a loading screen called Updating Master Data. At this point, the game is updating to the exoteric lineup of the current list. Once it finishes, press the Xbox button, go into Settings, Network Settings, and switch to Offline Mode. Please note that it would be more worthwhile to do this on an Xbox set as home. If it is not, then a hidden 5 minute timer will boot you off the game when it hits zero. Go back to the game, press the Y button, and re-sign into your account. Your screen will be stuck in the connection box, but there will also be a hidden menu under the box that we can control. Press down on the D-pad once, and then A, to enter the menu in offline mode. At this point, you can start the game like normal. Okay, so here we are in the village. Let's go see Tintin Tin and look at the scroll lineup. The list will be updated to the current list. At this point, we can open our scrolls, see what's inside, and cross-reference it with the scroll lineup to see what is worth keeping, and if we have any hidden double S items. Double S items are found in both esoteric and value scrolls, and your count will differ from mine, but once you see it, yours will never change no matter what. So in my game, I've opened up 40 scrolls, and inside of them, seen I have two double S outfits and two hidden double S items. I am also going to note that the first scroll has a double S, and that the fourth and sixth in the list are also hidden double S's. Just for study's sake, let's see if I have a weapon in this list. <laughs> Wow, that is a lot of scrolls it costs to get this weapon. In fact, if I had used Moonlight instead of Esoteric, it would have cost over $90 to obtain. I already have it, so it's not worth losing all of these double S gear I'm passing up to get it. I'll just take note of it later. Now that we know what's in our list, let's refund the scrolls and reset the list. If you got booted off the game via the 5 minute offline timer, you can follow these steps too. Start by we press the menu button on the Naruto game and hit quit. 
press menu on Naruto again, go to manage save file, save files, and erase your local data from the console. It is really important that you are still offline when doing this step. You can tell because you'll only have two options, and that you only hit delete from console. Never hit delete from Xbox Live. Our data is now gone from the Xbox, but the data we had before we started is still on cloud storage. Let's load that data up by turning back on our online status and starting the game back up. Depending on your Xbox, you may see a screen that says syncing data. It's just your data reloading from the cloud and this is normal. Anyways, here we are. Back where we started? At this point, we can either repeat our steps to get into offline mode again, or we can start like normal. Back in the village again. Let's talk to Tintin one more time and see if we got our scrolls back. Yes, there they are. And more importantly, we know where all the double S items are. We can deposit just enough scrolls to get the items we want. Right now I don't want any of these because I already have them. Instead, I'm going to save them for the next league and see what's in store. Okay, so it's been about two weeks and we have new lineups. And what's better is that there are double S items where the filler items were, so we can get even more gear. We are aware that our first scroll has the double S costume for the male on top slot. That means we are 100% guaranteed to get the male costume for this lineup. As a bonus, since the filler slot was replaced with double S ninja tools, we are 100% guaranteed to get one on the fourth slot and something extra on the 6th slot. Wow! Whoa, great! Now I would just keep the clothing, but for the sake of the video, I'll reload my save again and wait for the next lineup. Okay, another time skip. Let's look at the list. There's the costume, and there's the tools. We know how many scrolls it takes, so let's go get them. Once again, you can keep them and look for the next double S spot if you want. But I'm going to refer to these as fake double S's because none of these costume skills are unique. I would rather have the real double S costumes with fancy skills or the rarer ninja tools. So I will refund my scrolls again and wait for next time. Okay, so we're about a month in now. Crazy how long it took to make this video. Anyways, let's look at the list and hey, look at that. There's a rare ninja tool in this list. And we know that the fourth scroll is 100% guaranteed to be a ninja tool. Bingo, there it is. You see, the scroll that started off as a fake double S slot was really a one of a kind ninja tool that as of the time making this video never shown up again. And if I had opened my scrolls normally, I would have missed it and spent who knows in Moonlights to push it out of their list. In fact, I am going to save these, so instead of quitting via the dashboard, I'll just quit normally and go back online mode. But first, 
I'm going to reload my save one more time and open just enough scrolls to get that pill and then open one more scroll so when I want to do this again I'll start right here on the list 100% guaranteed to get the girl outfit okay so I just got back on two lineup time since we got the pill and now we are back where we started I shown you on my brother's account getting the gear on his account so now I'll show you me getting my own so here's the first scroll we already know what is inside of it from the previous weeks That just leaves the weapon way down in my list. But since I was saving my scrolls for good stuff like this, I can afford to spend the scrolls for it. Alright, got it. Simple as that. Now I know we probably should not be bending the odds to our will. But that's just it. There are no odds or RNG when opening these. We're getting the same thing each and every time. So we're going to get what's owed to us. Besides, it says in the marketplace that Esoterics and Moonlights act the same way, even though in reality they are two different vending machines. Regardless, if it took me that many scrolls just to get the weapon, and I used Moonlights, that would have been way too much money than I even would have bothered wanting to spend on. Especially for a weapon I never tried before. No thank you. I'll keep it short this time. Thanks for watching and good luck in your things. Remember to never use Moonlight Scrolls unless it's the absolute last resort. And even then, buy the 2 scroll pack, then the 10 scroll pack, etc. in order. Lastly, open them up one or two at a time to avoid wasting them on dupes. Since Moonlights are tied to their servers, you can't reset the vending machine without paying for the scrolls a second time. Anywho, Hope, you, hope to see y'all decked out in your new awesome gear. See you on the field. Let's spar again sometime, okay?